Welcome back to the shop. Today on the bench, I'm going to show you how to select a glove for the upcoming season. Break it in so it's game ready. Let's get to it. Okay. So today is April 2nd. Yesterday was April 1st. Um, Major League Baseball season just kicked off. Uh, a lot of teams are forming, uh, co-ed, uh, work leagues, beer leagues, uh, and maybe some people are first timers. They want to get the, get out there, uh, get a new glove, or maybe they can't find the old glove, or they just want to treat themselves, right? So a lot of choices. So I did some leg work for you. Yesterday, uh, I went to Dick's Sporting Goods. I spent about an hour, give or take, looking at all the different gloves. I looked at everything from the $50 range all the way up to the $300 range. And I made a decision uh, to buy one. I figured we'll buy it, uh, we'll break it in, and uh, you know, show the results. Um, what I was looking for is you know, quality. I was looking for a higher end quality glove. Uh, I didn't want to break the bank. You know, again, if you're the first, first time player, you don't want to spend 300 bucks on a glove. Um, then again, you don't want to spend $50 on a glove either because you get a $50 glove, um, you're not going to be happy, trust me. Um, you know, and I also looked at, you know, break in, uh, how well it's going to break in. You know, and the one I found, I felt that, you know, it was, it was right about the mid-price point, um, as well as it felt that we could probably break it in pretty easy. We wouldn't need a hot water treatment. We could probably break it in pretty simply with, you know, just a, a, some weights. Um, so, long story short is... Um, here we go. So we bought <clears throat> a Rawlings uh, Gold Glove Elite. It's a 12 and 3 quarter. Retails for 179. Marked down to 139. And then I had a $20 off coupon, which you can get a $20 off coupon, just go to their website. I think you can sign up for text alerts and they give you 20 bucks to be spent. Um, there we go. It was one with tax, it was $120, $120 with tax, so not too bad. Um, so, so we bought the glove and then, you know, I know that most people don't have, you know, mallets and tools to break a new glove, to break a new glove correctly. So I went to five below and I picked up. five pound dumbbell and I'll show you what we're gonna do with it anything I say is gonna be subjective this would be my opinion so I take it for what it's worth you know um, I will be impartial to some of the things I'm gonna say but you need to condition it and uh, I prefer to condition with Maven glove bomb uh, we produce this stuff we know that uh, it's high quality it's all cosmetic great material materials um, and it it won't stay in the glove this is a you know blonde leather um, we're going to put this on here. It's not going to stay in the leather, uh, so you have nothing to worry about. If we can put it on here without damaging the leather, you can probably put on any glove you want. Um, so once we condition the palm, hit the uh, I will show you where to hit the glove at the break points, um, and we'll work it in, and you should be good to go. Here we go. Okay, what I'd like to do is, you got the two hinge points, I like to work them like this. Get them going real nice, loosen her up. You can put a mat down or a towel if you don't want to damage the glove, I recommend it. But back and forth, and then the first point, we're gonna bend her here, cover her with a towel. We take our five pound dumbbell. Gonna loosen it up. Got a nice hinge there. Next, we're gonna fold it back down over here. We're gonna cover it up. Same thing. We're gonna hinge. Next, we're gonna spread it out. I 
to roll the heel like this. Gets everything nice and loose there. Get her ankle like that. And believe it or not, that quick. It's coming loose already. Oh yeah, nice pinky to thumb action. I like to roll them on a little bit. Look at that. What are we, about two minutes in? Not too bad. So let's go ahead, let's hit those break points again. Give us a nice hold. Up to the top. Here, break it there. Cover with a towel. And all right. Let's go ahead and get our ball. Not too bad, coming out real good. So then what we'll do is, we'll go ahead and we'll condition the outside of the shell with Maven Glove Balm or whatever type of conditioner you want. You want to put some conditioner on here that has some uh, beeswax on it, which we have uh, to prevent the moisture from getting into the leather. And you can also, if you'd like, you can put a ball in the pocket overnight. Grab yourself a big rubber band. Take the ball down again. Set your bench like that. You want to make sure that you have a nice dual hinge, deep pocket ball there. And that's it. Okay, that's it for today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Appreciate you sticking around with me. We'll see you on the next one.